I will aid him. You just um, cast it? You just cast it? It's just verbal and somatic. All right. Awesome. I rub my hands together and I say, where's that? Or where could it be? And he does the basically, same, I guess. It basically takes five minutes to cast. Okay, yeah, and it tells you if there's any magic in the room. There is magic in the room. Where is it located? And I'm going to basically tell you uh, where it is. Back over here. Okay, there is some kind of magic inside this statue of a sphinx over here. What? I look around at everybody and I say, does it end? You'll have to repeat yourself. Does anyone have a pearl? Nope. Pearl? What do you mean? Like nope. a pearl. Oh, well, what do you need it for? I'm out of character. It doesn't matter. I just ask everybody, does anyone have a pearl? I know there's a spell that requires that. I do not have it. No. no one has a pearl. Okay. I don't know, but there's some sort of magic with that statue, and I point at it. I I would like to examine the statue. Oh, you have identify, don't you? <laughs> uh, you examine the statue. Give me a first. Set. Well, what what are you trying to examine? Like physically examine it, or what? We have some fire fire fire. I believe that's a perception check. So. <laughs> uh. It is a uh, pretty old statue of a sphinx. It's crumbling in places. There's cracks all over it. And there's some magic in it. You don't I would like special about it for me. I so. would like to look at something that is not crumbling, not old, and something that may be a part of it that is new or newer. By physically examining it? Yes, by physically examining it. Okay, then um, give me a check. Either perception or investigation. Which is that? Perception. Perception. I'm looking for stuff that's different from the statue. Uh, you can see that the head of the statue looks like it is in significant better condition than the rest. It's still really old and crumbly looking, just less so. Is it wearing anything, or is it just the head? Uh, the, the head in its entirety looks... I am so confused. Everybody sees my... And I say, this... Sphinx head looks different, but I'm so confused. Um, would Rex have been able to, like, tell at least what kind of magic, like what school? Uh, no, you just told where there is magic. That's all that that, that spell tells you. Will you, uh, no, it could tell you the type, I think. Um, the detect magic. Oh, no, yeah. you do learn it's school of magic. Uh, well, let me I know. remember let me reading that. Oh, it's Illusion is the school. So something's... Would I also, would I also learn that? Uh, yes, because you were part of it. Oh, yeah, if I would have known that, then I would have... Uh, head. You would have what now? I'm going to feel its head. I'm going to stick my hand in the... You stick your hand to the head. It feels like a head. Does everything, like feel like it looks uh it feels like it's made out of some kind of stone no but i mean like my hand's not passing through anything. your hand is not passing things. through anything no no okay huh it it's some sort of illusion magic inside the statue though huh the magic was coming from inside the statue oh i try to pass my hand into inside the statue it doesn't work oh okay I'm I take knowledge check on the statue with stone cunning. Um, sure. What well, what exactly are you trying to figure out? Um, just if I would know anything about it, like 
if I can tell where the magic's coming from, anything like that. Uh, sure, sure, why not? Why not? <laughs> Based upon your knowledge of stonework, do you think the head has been replaced? Looks like the head's been replaced on this statue. I'm trying to unscrew the head. Uh, give me a strength <laughs> check. <laughs> Why are we doing? Oh. As you turn the head, you hear it kind of like a crunching noise, and then the head comes off. <laughs> you do, however, after you turn the head, see a small cavity in the neck. I put my hand in it. It's not big enough to stick your hand in. It's like about I shake fingers width. You shake it out. You put a vacuum to it. And you see a small uh, piece of jewelry fall out. I catch it and I look at it. It is a ring. I put the ring on immediately. <laughs> ah! You You put it on. Yes. Okay. This is a magic ring. I have two of them. <laughs> I have no idea what this does. Don't find out till tomorrow. I guess... Unless you have someone say, I don't know, cast something on it to identify things. Yeah, I don't have any pearls out of character. Rex does. Rex? I asked if anybody had any pearls. Wait. I don't have his inventory, and I just have, like, what all he can do. Also, yeah, it, it, it's something uh, I also said, which I know you heard at some point, though you've probably forgotten, is any spells you take at level 1, you automatically have all the material components for them. Whoa! And he does identify. He automatically gets a hundred gold pearl. Yes. Oh lord. Yep. How yeah, I don't think any and not nobody would have known that except for He uh, can't Travis. he can't sell it though. I mean if he tried to sell it, I'd punish him. Uh, uh, I'd let him sell it. Screw it. It's only worth twenty to fifty gold somewhere. But yeah, he has it. He also has identify. <laughs> he will try to identify the ring and the sword. I will assist him. Okay, um you can only do one object with one casting. No, it doesn't. It does not consume the pearl. I did not say it did. Oh, okay. Then he does one, and then the other. <laughs> okay, the sword is a plus one sword. I help him. That's, that's what it. it is. And that ring. Let me let me type out what the ring does. Type, 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 type it out. Type, 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 type it out. I'm just going to start hitting random keys if you keep saying stuff like that. Oh, hit random keys. Target, target, target. Okay, yeah, go up here. Really can't spell. Are you typing it out for everyone? Yeah. Probably. Okay. Type it, type it, type it. Oh, I did forget to mention when you took the uh the, when you knocked the ring out of the head, um uh it doesn't look like stone anymore. It looks like it's made out of plaster. The head, that is. Oh, okay. 
I'm sure that's not important at all. There you go. Holy shit. It's minor illusion. It's not very powerful. It's still cool. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I and, um, what's his name, convey to the rest of the group what it does. Here, I'll just put down what it does. Is that an actual item? Like, because I'm not familiar with items in physics. Oh, no, I'm just making, Nate made it. Okay. Like, I put it, I put it there. No worries, just checking. This character is half wizard now, I swear. <laughs> okay, He's I been around the globe. He had one ring he can, like, do crazy shit with, and then this other ring he's going to do crazy shit with. So, what's everyone else's, um... I don't know what to call it. Um, Let me just select that. What's everyone else's out of character? Out of character? You, you cut off. What is everyone else's, uh... Vitality at the moment. I'm good. Okay. I got one good. That's good enough. Yeah, I, I got the minor illusion. Let's do it. Minor illusion is the uh, cantrip, I think. It is a cantrip, yes. All right, let's do this. Where are we I'm going not next? Give you guys anything more powerful than a cantrip yet? Yeah, Jeez. Where are we going next? There's a door. Let's go in the door. Excuse me, out of character. All right, so you open in the door. Uh, maybe. You want to move, uh, Zang? Maybe Zang's opening the door. Maybe he just got emboldened. Well, he wanted me to move, but uh... maybe he didn't. Maybe he changed his mind. I ready my crossbow for a cloaked dude. Same, but with sacred flame. I raised my shield. I would like to detect magic on the rat. Okay. Um, well, we already detect magic the entire room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but let's just double check. You did. You're gonna spend five minutes and. Yes, yes. Let's spend five minutes. It's that you important. You do detect something coming from the rat. It's very faint, though. There is some magic from this rat, you guys. It's magic. The rat. The rat starts backing away from you guys. I would like to bag the rat. Bag of rats rule. You're going to try to bag, like bag him, put him in a bag? Yes, I'd like to put him in a bag. Uh, give me an acrobatics check to catch a dang rat. Can I just give you a, a dexterity check? I Acrobatics is dexterity. Can I do something, Potato, really quick? Uh, maybe. I create a cage around the rat. <laughs> Right, squeaks, and uh, then runs through the cage because it's an illusion. Damn! <laughs> it's a smart rat. rat. That's a fucking a smart rat. Oh, that yeah. is not a pr <laughs> that is not a normal ah, rat. That's funny. Uh, okay, I thought you were saying that you actually created an actual cage and that the rat was an illusion. No, right, no, 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 no. That do I, do I bag the rat? That is an intelligent rat. rat. You do put the rat in a bag. I However, you eight. notice the. Uh, Right after you pull the bag up, that the bag is empty. Wait, what? What school of magic was the uh, rat? The rat. Yeah. <laughs> the rat's oh, not. Oh, jeez. I say it's conjuration would be my guess, actually. So, do what? Is it possible that it's a familiar? Uh, that is a distinctly possible, yes. So the rat just disappeared then. Yep, the rat. Okay. The rat disappeared. Okay, I tell them I don't know where it went. The rat was likely the uh, the wizard's familiar, so it might have just vanished. Sildar, do you ever remember him, uh, this person with the glass staff, having a rat familiar? 
Uh, no, but I didn't hang out with him or anything. Okay, so you don't know. All right, let's keep going now. Sorry, guys, I just had some inspiration there. Lazarus is going to open the door carefully with his shield in front of him. And I'm ready in action with the red cloak shooting the stuff, all the jazz. Which is the dodge action, technically. Uh, what you see is an empty room. Uh, up in this corner, there is an open secret door. And you hear someone moving through it. <laughs> I'm going to go running for him. Uh, okay, we're going to have to go by turns here. Cause... Okay, initiative then. Yep. I'm getting there. Holy shit! Wow. <laughs> Lazarus gets that. Dun 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 dun. There are a lot of secret doors in this place, man. It was a manor. Yeah, hasn't survival horror. horror hasn't survival horror taught you anything? Yeah, but all, all walls are secret doors. Literally all walls are secret doors. You just have to apply enough force. You guys actually almost found the secret door he's going through. Someone was like two points shy or something. Was it leading to here? No, it was, it was, leading, it was leading over here. Yeah, that's yeah. well that's where the door in the room is. Yeah, you know, everyone at once now. Someone made a check against that wall and was like just just too shy to find it. <laughs> they have just to. Too shy. He did get uh, one move on you guys, so let's see. Let's see now. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go ahead and put him there. Well, he would he would have actually been here because he was at his desk. Oh wow! It goes around like that. He's got a lot of speed, too, if it was around like He used two movement, basically, because he used his action to move. And he has uh, thir uh, 30 feet, like a normal person. So uh, It is now the beginning of the round. Get him, Zane! And I screwed up the initiative just saying. <clears throat> Just a second, sorry. Okay, actually, let's see. Lazarus actually is going first. Uh, no, I don't. Er, not sorry, not Lazarus. He changes his mind. Rex goes first. Rex goes first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Dun 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 dun. Wait. That's the end of his turn. Was he? Where was he? He went twelve. Let's keep going. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would have cracked the door. Don't worry. Because I'm like that. Okay, then now it's Lazarus. Lazarus is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Get him, Zang. Go oh, smash him. You, you know what else try, he's going to do? You can try to hit him around the corner if you want. He's going to take take his uh, action surge and try to tackle him to the ground. Ooh. 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 Maybe you'll catch him. I'm gonna have inspiration for this. I do find it interesting that the creature for this guy is not actually him, it's just called Evil Mage. Mm. So this is the attack roll. Or whatever I need. So 
control. Oh, okay, that, that you, didn't work. You need to do that correctly. KD1, no. I, yeah, I know. If you didn't do it correctly the first time, let it be done. It was sad. It was totally wrong. It was sad. Okay, so that is your... How are you? What are you attacking with? I'm tackling him to the ground. At the least, it's a uh, grapple check, and then after you've yeah. gone... You can't, because you don't have the feet, you can't pin stuff if you don't take the feet. So you just grab him, I guess. You're trying to grapple him. Yeah. Uh, that means he gets to make a save. Do what? Granted, granted it's a wizard. Well, well, it's not a save. It's it's opposing checks. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, and... yeah, it's still not as good because his check is a ten. What? He rolls a ten. What? Oh. The wizard can see him. I'm so confused. Divination. He's giving him oh, a ten instead he of He automatically five. rolls a ten. Seriously, Mike, you need to fix your mic. Oh, sorry. I was just... I heard sorry. just... It was just this straight, loud static. <laughs> uh, sorry, I did fix it. Um, I pulled it away from my face now. Well, uh, you have successfully grabbed him. Wait, yeah, you can barely... Eh, arguable whether you can see him or not, but okay. Very arguable, but you grab him. Uh, he can see him. He can see ever. the edge of his square. At the very it's least, like, he at the very least he has a cover in that square. He but could it doesn't technically matter. be, yeah, he could technically be a dozen squares to the left and still be able to see him. In fact, more than a dozen squares, infinitely many squares. Well, Mister Mister Technically over here. Let me push up my glasses for you. There you go. The wrench for grab. You have successfully grabbed him. Yes. And now it is Albrecht's turn. Tiny dwarf legs. He does have his staff in his hand. You also, uh, oh well, no, you didn't. He has a staff in his hand. Oh, that reminds me of something. Did I not uncover that area? Nope. nope. Oops. And that's as far as I get with both my Yeah, you only got 25 feet. Okay. So, for the record, um, uh, Lazarus has a sword that is sheathed, for the record. But let it be known. Yeah, Lazarus does not have his sword out. Because you can sheath and unsheath stuff as like a free action. As a action. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's what's going to happen. It's his turn now. Do I not get a turn or what? It's well, I'm going in turn order. You're oh, okay. below him in initiative. All right, fair enough. And uh, you see him disappear. <laughs> but does he feel him? Oof. And you see him reappear down here. Oh, he teleported. Oh, it's annoying a wizard knows spells. Oh. Yeah, it is pretty lame. But those doors are closed, it looks like. Yeah, those doors were closed. You guys closed these doors. I don't know. closed this, this door, too. It looked like they were closed. Oh. Hmm. You did close that door? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Issues. I don't Issues. remember you closing them. I know that I do not know. Pretty sure we closed that door. Well, then he wouldn't have done that. All right. Fair enough. Let's move on. But now we know you can do that. Good job right there. You out of character know he can do that. (laughs) 
and he is going to I have to look up these spells because I don't know exactly what they do. Sorry. No worries. Like I'm just I'm having it rough right now. This is really fun, but like I'm like um Okay, here's what he's going to do. He wiggles his fingers, and you see green mist shoot out from his fingers at both you oh, no. and Tom Selleck. Both of you need to make wisdom saving throws. Oh, wisdom saving throws. I don't know what Tom Selleck's wisdom is, but here's mine. Just give him a roll, and you can add it in a minute. Uh, add him. I can tell you just a second. His wisdom is 12, so he gets plus one on there. Well, he, he fails. He's going to use probably his lucky point on it. Using the lucky point. The second one. All right. He still fails. Eh. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. I can use a dash. Well, Zane could get to him in one turn. Well, just so I you still know, that's the idea. Just so you know, Tom Selleck is uh... passed out. No, he's been charmed. Well, that's not good. No, that's not. Because you are he's a wizard, and, and now he's friendly to the bad guy. And let's see. That he's a that. wizard with no spells. He still has his cantrips. True. And <laughs> he's got the radiations. Is escaping from grab an action? It is. It's some sort of action, yeah. It's some sort of action doesn't tell me anything. It's you have to actively get away from the grab. Can use his action to escape, yes. Well he just uses action to try and charm you. So wah, wah, wah. Well if it worked I'd I'd let him go. That's true, if it worked, you just let him go. <laughs> and uh, uh... He's going to do it anyway. He disappears and reappears there. <laughs> wow. He can use that as a move action? As a, a bonus? bonus? It's a bonus action. Oh. That's some kind Ooh, of bullet shit right there. You, you, can't, uh, you can't see Tom Silk. In... No, that it just lasts for a half hour. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, I don't think you can cast multiple spells in one turn. Where yeah, you can. It, they're different kinds of... It's a bonus action, so yes, you can. Well, and it doesn't require no, I mean, like, I don't think you... I have... N I did not see that anywhere. Let Arthur look it up, and we keep going on. We just say he did it, and we move on. I think it depends on if you're using a concentration spell nope. or something. You can't. Where does oh. it say that? Can't cast another spell during the same turn except for a cantrip with a casting time of one action. Where's that? Page is that on? That's kind of what I want to know. Let me find it. That's totally legit, though. This well, is yes, important. if if that is... I'm looking for it, but he says, I found it, and then can't tell me where it is. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I believe him. He put it in quotes, so it must be true. Okay, we're... I mean, under casting magic, I don't see that. I don't know how he put it in quotes. He didn't get that in a book. It says page 202. You said 202? Yeah. I'm oh, yeah it, does, it does say that. You can't cast another spell during the same turn except for cantrip with the text and down with one action. Oh. Where does that say it? It's under bonus action. Yep. There it is. Oh, wow. Total burn. So he can't do that. Yeah! Arthur with the rules lawyer! Doesn't mean he can't do anything. He still only has a bonus action. He has cantrips. What can he cast bonus action? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Can he cast that cantrip as? No, you guys are getting real lippy. <laughs> it's mostly because I just did something awesome and I don't really want it to go to waste. And he also along the lines of you guys keep saying, "Oh no, it's this." <laughs> yes, I, I screwed up. I you don't need to lord it over me that I screwed up. <laughs> no, 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 lording. Mike, you're the king of lording it over people. You know I'm it. not lording it over. I'm just excited because Arthur's doing something. Like, I'm totally all for what Arthur's doing. This guy knows the most useless cantrips. Seriously, <laughs> light is one of the cantrips he has prepared. There. Well, he's got to see through the, the this dark place. Not useful for killing things. <laughs> oh, that'd be awful. He gets over there, he doesn't have teleport. Oh shit, there's a spike pit in the way. You realize oh, he, he might... has more than one slot for spike. He might be able to jump with his strength. <laughs> well, um, since that was his action, he doesn't have that. He can't use his move action to escape. That's the end of his turn, then. <laughs> Then Pull it is Zane's turn. Pull him back in here. <laughs> <clears throat> My turn, huh? Okay. Yep. I am going to catch up. Let, so let me see here. I'm going to be taking the dash action as a bonus action on my turn. Yep. Double the yes. Double speed. And my jump distance is my jump di distance is now double. Don't forget <laughs> you have an enemy between you and the wizard. What? You have a charmed wizard between you and the wizard. Is he an enemy he is no longer your ally. Mm. He can block you. He can block you from This was the uh, shortcut, right? I know yeah, no, it's up here. It's up at the top. You have to go up the top, then down. Okay, so he can yeah. and will block you from from going by. Here. It goes right here, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm right uh, here. You can get farther than that. Well, I'm I'm counting my movement here. Like one, That's two, three, ten. four, five. Yeah. And the dash action no, no, doubles not... your movement, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. It's so... like two movements. So, let me see here. I'm on 10. Yeah, they changed what charmed is. Never mind. I don't think what? in Pathfinder in Pathfinder or 3.5, they automatically become your enemy. They don't necessarily attack the enemy. Uh, charmed means he cannot attack the wizard, and also the charmer has advantage on any ability check to interact socially with the creature, which doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, that so sounds very similar to 3.5. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I was thinking dominated. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a little different there. 
So I'm right here. Yeah, and when you run by, I say, not the uncon unconscious. Unconscious. And from here, I'm going to punch this wizard in the face. You have advantage, I think. Because his speed is zero. <laughs> well... I will be punching the wizard in the face without the intent to kill him. Also, does he does he have a staff? He is grappled. Um, he does have a staff in his hand. <clears throat> what kind of staff is it, just to make sure? The, uh, unless you have something that gives someone with a speed of zero advantage, he doesn't have advantage. Uh, what were you talking about? What kind of staff is it? It looks like it's made out of glass. Okay. Uh, just wanted to establish that. So I, I, I punch him in the face. Oh, he's incapacitated. You can't take your actions. That's it. Nope. Nowhere does it say you get advantage. Well, that's fine, because I'm pretty sure I hit him anyway. Uh, yes. You, you do hit him. Okay. This is him getting punched in the face now. And I took my bonus action on this turn to double my movement speed. So, I think... Oh, no, it's it's him that gives them an advantage. So I think that's yes. all the damage I can do for now. Um, so I sock him, a good one. And I think that might be the end of my turn. Okay, then it's Blackjack's turn. Blackjack! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Uh, 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, um, am I able to cast anything as part of a dash action? I really don't know. Nope. No, you can't. Okay. Unless you That's have some for bonus action. Hmm. Then, uh, to see if it's a bonus action, but I think it's an actual action. Depends. There's some spells that are, some aren't. Yeah, it let really me depends. check real quick. Spells, uh, spells in 5e are very case-by-case, case, just like they are in 3.5. Yep, okay. Um, that's the end of Blackjack's turn. I can't make the wizard escape. <laughs> well. You guys are going to get more experience. You get, right. you, get, you get bonus experience for capturing him alive if that's what you end up doing. That's what we're doing. And as I catch up to them, I said, I told... Zang to not kill him. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is finally Sildar's turn with his natural one. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Wait seven, for me, guys. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Done. Turn done. Go. Okay, back to Rex. Um, you cannot attack the wizard or do anything mean to him. You Wait, why can't he attack, attack him? him? Because he's charmed. Oh, Rex, okay. <laughs> Rex is just gonna cry over in this corner about how the wizard's too hot for him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he can't tell Rex what to do. Or right, you know yeah. what? Rex will be a good Samaritan and he will block the exit. He would not do that, I wouldn't think. I mean, it doesn't directly hurt him, but I mean, he's friendly been... towards him now. He wouldn't want harm upon him. I think you would let him pass, so I don't really care. Okay, then he's difference. just going over here to soft himself quietly. And Lazarus is going to move here. Pull him. And here. Pull, pull, pull him, him right here. Pull him into the room. Uh, no no I, checks for... Do you yes. honestly get to pull him? Oh, yeah, you no do. checks yeah, required in 5th. No checks pull him, required. Pull him away. I have to move. Pull him, to, pull him on over. Go on down. And since that's just my move action, and I don't have to maintain a grapple until he breaks it, I'm going to just shield bash him. As you're getting ready to just, don't kill him! Blackjack I'm says, not going to kill him. Okay. Just a... It's just it's a little just a piece little of metal slamming into his head. Just a, just a little bump. It's a minor concussion. 
<laughs> a minor. He actually he wriggles just enough that you can't hit, that you miss with your shield. You kind of tap him on the shoulder with it. Well, that's the end of my turn. This is okay. Fun. Now it now it is Albert's turn. Oh, come on, give me another turn. Give me another turn. You don't get one yet. Come on. He gets give to go me... before you. I know. Give me another turn. So could I non fatally try to hit him with Sacred Flame? Yes, you, you can, can specify yeah. it as non-lethal. Yep. Okay, then I'm going to do that. Non-lethal in 4th and 5th edition is a... There's nothing complicated, you just say... Uh, this is non-lethal, and there you go. He has okay, no is. speed. Does that mean... I don't think he has no speed. I think he's just immobilized. No, his, uh, if you're grappled, your speed is reduced to zero. Oh. Huh. That's actually that what it says. Out. A creature that a grappled creature's speed becomes zero. So do you get advantage? Nope, not from grappled. You get it from well, uh, you get it from well, no. uh, being pinned. Sacred though. flame is he has to make a dex check. Yeah, that has nothing yeah, to do with speed. Make a dex save of thirteen. <laughs> yeah, which is entirely possible for him to make. You can do it. I believe it. Uh, he rolled a thirteen, so his total was fifteen. Okay. Ah, oh, dang. And back over here, it's his turn then. You know, I'm not really sure that he's angry that you pulled him over here, where he can see down here. Huh. And he has a spell that lets him teleport. Yeah, one spell. That he can use possibly more than once, just not in one turn. Mm hmm. I will snap my fingers to that. Mm hmm. Though, I'm going to look at his other spell here because I can't remember exactly what it does. He's getting ready to get mowed down. He does not look like grass. He does not look like it. Okay, that's what I thought it was, so he's not going to do that. Don't forget, it's dark down there, and he looks like a human to me. I don't know. I could be wrong. He can see within six squares of himself. Without light? This lantern that Tom Selleck is standing right by does send light this direction. And just it's dim that dim. lantern that's not there anymore. No, that lantern isn't. Then you guys are all standing in absolute darkness, <laughs> except with me. Somebody's carrying the lantern. Yeah. If somebody's uh, carrying I'm... a lantern, who's carrying the lantern? Tom Selleck. Then it's exactly as I said it was. In fact, it's spreading farther this direction. <laughs> Tom Selleck's just sobbing in that corner. I'm just laughing. Uh, <laughs> that was like some sort of irony or coincidence. You see him disappear in some silvery mist. And we don't see him at all? No, he disappears and reappears down here. Oh, he reappears down there. Oh man, it is awesome. I have the perfect spell for this, you guys. And, uh... God. He goes into darkness? Is, I mean, he can see in the dark? You can move in darkness. <sighs> okay, I've got my turn. Let's I don't know this. why you think you can't move into darkness. Also, he lives here. I'm pretty sure he knows the geography. Let's do this. I'm going to have to obscure him. I'm totally excited. I, as long as I can see him at some point, I'll be doing okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. I think it's there. I yell at everybody, if I can see him, you'll be able to see him. I know. Yeah, fairy fire. There. Uh, you can't see him right now. Yeah, I know. And, uh, let's we see. We saw him in the darkness, though. That's his turn. It is Zang's turn.
And then I think about it for a moment when it says it's Zang's turn. I turn to Zang and he says, if he's running away, go the other way. Catch him that way. Zang shrugs and does it. Just remember where the pit is. But it's open. I mean, you have a thing across it. Zang will um, use the skip to my Lou ability and double that. One. <laughs> the badage. Those doors are shut too. He bursts through the doors and jumps across. He don't care. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, how much movement do you have? You move like 30 squares. I moved about 16 squares, including a jump. One, two. The jump doesn't even count because that's seven, an action. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I counted 18 just squares. Well, these two don't count because he used the move action. One, or a, two, three, a four, jump action. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Jump uh, is part 12, of movement, 14, I'm pretty sure. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Pretty he sure jump used, takes into account your movement. Well, he also used dash. That's, so, a, that's I mean, a bonus action, yeah. So he yeah. basically got three movements. So I've still got an action, right? <laughs> yeah. I, not, not what I was. No, saying. you don't. No, you don't. You use three movement. I used two. I thought. You have. Okay, so you get how many squares? I don't know. That's eight. Eight, eight squares. So yeah, yeah, you did two movement there. That's pretty much how he did it, I think. It yeah, he can zero. Still he can count zero. You still have your action. What? Okay. Even with the dash? Yes, even with the dash, you still have you one can action. Do wow. dash as a, as, you can do dash as a bonus action. Wow. And, and guess what? I'm going to move eight more squares. He's <laughs> to right the fuck here, and I'm going to stand right for this door. <laughs> and that door's not opening. That's funny. Uh, the, no, the door. As, that door. You never close that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But anyway, as that as he gets will as he leaves, I say we need somebody else to guard this other end. And that's what I say. Okay. It looks like you guys might actually catch him. That's good. <laughs> well, monks are kind of bullshit on the mobility. That you was pretty weird. bullshit. That was pretty awesome. Okay, now it is Blackjack's turn. Holy shit. You still can't see him. Do you remember the tavern thing when I was just like, Black I can move Jack, really fast? Blackjack tells Tom Selleck to go down the hallway, and he's going to wait on his turn. Blackjack waits for a You're turn. You're delaying your turn. Yes, waiting on Tom Selleck or somebody else to, like, down the hallway. Okay, so then, uh, Sildar. It's Sildar's turn. Oh, sorry. Um, Sildar is also going to wait because he can't. Okay, then it's back around to Rex. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He oh, can see where he's going. Yeah, I know. I'm going to reveal the whole area. Ooh. <laughs> 11. Well, now, he'll, he'll just get to here, I guess? That's perfect. And then it's my turn. Mm, no, no, it's I'm my turn. I'm pretty sure Blackjack and Sildar are going to take their turns. It's going to be Blackjack's turn. Blackjack thinks real hard, and he's got some sort of inspiration, as it were. Oh, no, he doesn't, because that's not going to Anyway, you see Blackjack go here, here, and then here. And he looks at the dude down here. And he uses his fairy fire. All of the dude's clothing, all of the things that are on him, including the glass staff, and himself light up in a blue outline of glowy fieriness that doesn't really seem to harm him but it lights him up real good um he has to make a dex save against um 
I think it's 12. Everything within a 20 feet of him is outlined. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. It's actually in a 20... Is it a radius? I think it's a oh, diameter. Let's see. Think... Well, actually, yeah. everything in the area is done it, and if he fails, he gets outlined. Yeah, but I'm including his clothing and his objects that he's got carrying with him as objects. That's automatic, but him himself... Okay, yeah. it's like, well, you see, you're wearing a robe, so the robe is shining, but you're not shining. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't make sense, Mike. And his glass staff. But he's he's got to make a deck save for himself, regardless of whatever happens. And what is what is the number? Um, I think it's twelve, but it might be ten. I can't remember how I do what's that. Your, oh, pro- what's your charisma? Um, my charisma is a two. So it's, is it... it's twelve. Yeah. All right. I was right. Cool. So I'll... he needs to roll a ten. No, he needs to roll to save. He needs to roll a. Uh... He needs to meet it. Then I guess he has to roll a twelve. No, he has. It's a dexterity saving throw. Oh, he has Get a plus two. Notes. Okay, so he physically and, needs to roll uh, a ten. And he rolled a fifteen. So. Okay. Well, is this stuff glowing? Uh, everything around him is glowing. But stuff that's on him counts as part of him for spells. That's fine. I'm just I was just asking yay or nay. So is stuff on him glowing? No, his stuff right. is not glowing. Sildar makes a turn. He whips out his crossbow. He can certainly see him though. Non lethally. Um non lethally it is plus two to hit. Uh it it whistles over Tom's shoulder. <laughs> It does not hit the wizard. That's the end of his turn. Done. My turn. Uh, yes, I believe so. Lazarus yes. gets to hear. What? And your initiative has been modified. Lazarus pulls out his sword. Hi, friends. Are you going to try to grapple him again? Yes. I can't. I double moved. Oh, so you're not doing anything. Nope. But he's getting there. He's getting in the way. That looks like a really big tree trunk right there. I don't know if he can go okay, to Okay, well, it's Albrecht's turn now. Oh, he's dwarf. way up there. He, he should be able to make it down there. Well, he could... Uh... Can I see him from here? Good enough to hit him? Like with a spell? Oh, yeah. Then I try mm-hmm. Sacred Flame again. Yeah, as long as sacred the range Flame! Strong. Okay, uh, DC is 12, I think. Or is it 14? What is 13. 13. So really... It hits. He yes! failed his save. So yes. how, much, how much damage does he take? A fair amount for that spell. And that was non lethal, if I didn't already say so. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. I, I figured everything, any damage you guys are doing to him is non-lethal since you went to capture him. Yeah, just okay. bam down. Bam it down. is now his turn. He's grappled? Sweet. No, he is nope. not. Nope. Oh. He is not grappled. He doesn't have anything wrong with him other than the fact that he's been hit a few times. Everything around him is glowing, though. Uh... However, what he is going to do is point his hand at you. At you. And use magic missile. Yes. This is going to be painful. Yes. Let's see how much he rolls. Oh my.
How much damage do you think he can do when he casts Magic Missile at a level three as a level uh, two spell? Stormy. Yes, it's twenty. But he <laughs> didn't. Do, he did not do twenty damage. <laughs> he only did eighteen damage. I literally just guessed. Just like I don't know, whatever. Well, you know who's still up? Barely. Yeah, you probably have like this one guy. health. This guy. Me. How much health? One health. One, you have one health. You've done one more damage. <sighs> it was almost enough. Nope. Ugh, ugh, ugh. This thing's fairy fire didn't work. I'm so disappointed. You can always do vicious mockery on him. Give him disadvantage on everything. Nope, I can't. You don't you, take that. Okay. You nope. see him pull out something, some kind of flask. <laughs> yeah, right. And, uh, well, that's the end of his turn. He's out completely out of actions. I mean, he could try, he can move, but, uh. Wouldn't terribly. He can't move across the bridge because it's gone. He can't move past me. If he moves out of your range, you can hit him. Unless yeah. he casts teleport again. But he casts magic missile. Yeah, I know. I was wondering if he was going to try to teleport. Nope, he doesn't. Uh, it's the end of his turn, and it's Zang's turn again. Ah, it's Zang's turn. Zang doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, Zang doesn't know what the shit's going on. Um, he will. Uh, He's into the darkness. Well, I mean, it's lit up somewhat. Oh, okay. It's oh. all lit up now. <laughs> oh, it is. Because I'm there. Oh, yeah. You see it flicker in around the hallway. I guess. He will shut the door. Shut the front door. That that's a good move, actually. Not bad. Not bad. Is there any way he can see to actually jam the door? Um. You use. Let's see. No, you shut the door. That that that's a bonus action shutting the door. Uh, you can use your action to try to find one. Uh, he sees some boxes. You and, can move uh, some of those boxes in front of the door, but that not, might jam it shut. Um, How fucked up does this wizard look, by the way? Uh, he he looks a light, lightly injured. Just a dabble. Yeah, he's just gonna move some some shit in front of the door. And that ends his Question. Does Tom Sell get a save, like, every time he... Or, um, the wizard makes any aggressive action against his friends? Wait, do what? <laughs> like, the charm effect. Like, is he just completely out of this for 30 minutes, or does he get a save okay. every time an aggressive action happens? Towards one of his friends. Um, what it says is, uh, let's see, a charmed creature can't attack the charmer or target the charmer. Okay, he can't attack the charmer or target the charmer with harmful abilities or magical effects, and he has advantage on any ability ability attack to interact socially with the creature. And the spell says, um, If it fails the saving throw, it is charmed by you until the spell ends, or until you or your companions do anything harmful to it. Does so it basically, require concentration. I would... No. Wow. Oh, whoa. It is a save. And so basically, spell. as long as as long as the uh, this guy right here does not attack Tom Selleck, he's oh, still charmed. Yeah. So, save or be fucked. For a yeah. half hour. Okay. Just want to make sure. 
As I said, that's ex I have no reason to go against what the spell says. And well, if he uses cast, if he casts it at a higher level, then he can uh, do additional creatures. Yeah. So Zing's turn. I just put boxes in front of the door and turn. You can draw yourself a little box there if you want. Okay, so Rex, it's back to Rex. What's Rex gonna do? He can't hurt the wizard. Uh, yeah, there's just not really anything he can do. That is a mighty big box. A tiered box. It's a box of the box. It's a pyramid of boxes. Yeah, there's just really nothing he nothing. can do in that situation. So is he gonna do nothing? Yeah, well, no, he'll he'll move away. Yeah, this whole area is glowing. <laughs> yeah, so he'll just move away. Storm's thug? Oh, okay. There be boxes, ye who enter here. And now it's Rex's turn. Or not Rex's, but uh, Blackjack's. It is Blackjack's turn now, yes. Blackjack is not so happy, so he does the thing with his super duper sword. And his friend is next to him and he's going to deal non lethal damages if possible. And then it is Sildar's turn, and Sildar will also deal non lethal damages if possible. Slish slash in the back. Just stand there. No. Well, you'll be squeezing. How about he just does this? I'll be just does what he's doing because it's working pretty well. Um, splish splash, take a bath. He's gonna slash, and then uh, wait a first... minute. Why, why does he have advantage? Oh, um, I don't know. I guess that's his second roll. I guess because I made a mistake. Um, and he misses on his first roll. And... Is that much damage? Yeah, non lethal. And then that is the end of his turn. Go. Okay. So I have to have the most Lazarus. effective turn. Lazarus, Lazarus is going to second wind. Uh, who is doing that? Doing what? That loud noise? What loud and noise? Okay, question. Can you like drink a potion if you're grappled? Drinking a potion takes an action. So even if you have like someone You grapple with one hand. You can drink a potion while some you're grappling someone if that's the question. And he and the thing is if he uses his action to drink that potion, it'll happen, but it uses his action. And he's well, still grappled. Okay. And he yeah, would still be grappled, well, yes. He's not doing the grappling. So... I'm going to put away my sword and grapple him. Okay, go for the grapple. Well, oh, actually... Who is doing that? Can I get advantage if I flank him while grappling? Um, because it is an attack action. I think yeah, that is can, an attack action. So I you think do get advantage in yeah. fifth or er, in three point five and past your uh, flanking, you get advantage. Oh, he's gonna have to really roll good to not fit this. All right, sounds good. Leads to sixteen. Come on. Come on, no enemies, no enemies, stop. Ah, he's grappled. All right, cool beans. Okay, that is the end of my turn. Okay, then it is Albert's turn. Okay. 
Okay, I'll move forward. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And once again, sacred flame. All right. What was the, is it 12, 13 you say? 13. You hit him. Yay. Or how much? It was 1d8, right? Yep, 1d8. Not lethal. All right. Mike, it's you. Stop that. Stop what? Every now and then I hear this little slapping noise. Stop it. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you can set up push the talk key. You don't have to worry about it. What's the push the talk key? Uh, go under your uh, user settings. Go to uh, voice. Go to input uh, mode. Key push the talk. Okay, let's keep going. Screw it. Okay, so that was obviously Now it's his turn again. He is currently grappled. He doesn't want to use his potion. He is going to teleport. To there. He's going to find plenty of boxes in his way. <laughs> Well, he sees the door shut. Yes. So he's going to move down and open the door. <laughs> does it, which way does it open to? It opens into the wall. I said oh. that's what I said. I said it opens into the wall. So it uh, that didn't stop it from opening. But now there's boxes in front of him. <laughs> now Zane can see him. So it's one of those. Oh shit! Zane so stares at him. There's boxes, so he can't just move through that square, either. He can't just move through it. Hint, hint. No, I mean, he can't just make a move. A With a move action, you aren't just going to get through that square. One, two, three. Wait, how many boxes did you put in that square? All of them! <laughs> to answer. So you move that entire pile over here? I stacked them the fuck up. So, I, I tried to make them tall against the door. So, like, even, like, when he opened it, there would be a chance that they actually tumbled on top of him. <laughs> I did not know that, so I didn't do a roll for that or anything. So I did say a chance, not definitive. I should have described better, but whoops. Well, he is going to try to push your boxes over. That's a lot of actions. Uh, the teleportation is a bonus action, and he's moved. And he also opened the door. Yeah. And he also has both of his hands full. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I mean, he could drop the thing. You can push with your body. Yeah, push it right into it. Push with his nine the... strength. Oh shit! He couldn't even jump with it. <laughs> oh. Hmm. He's running out of options. I cannot remember something. I have to look up something. Sorry, I'm happy to look something up real quick. Uh, 
Okay, okay. I, I was I thought this was the case, but didn't think it was the, didn't know it was the case. Uh you get on your turn an action, your move your move, a bonus action, and you can also interact with one object or feature in the environment for free. Either during your move or your action. So what you're saying is during your turn you can get a bonus action. A standard a move in a minor. Yes, but the minor, <laughs> that minor would have to be an item interaction. Yeah, which would be the door. Yes, yep. which would be the door in his. I was like, I I need to make sure that moving uh, moving a door is a bonus action or not. It is not. It's an item interaction, and you get you, you can do one of those. Got it. So he, he is going to try to push those boxes down with a strength check. Pushing over a tower of boxes. What do you think the DC is? I don't know. I see. I want to show everyone what I just rolled, but I can't now. Guess what number he rolled? Nat twenty. Yes, he rolled a twenty. He did a really good job pushing over them boxes. So he barreled through those boxes, and actually ended up in this square. Dude, he looks very nervous now because he didn't know you were there. Hi. Uh, Mr. Burley Man and the two two other giant people are no longer there. I just realized how huge they are. The box okay. stack is gone. Oh uh, yeah, the box stack's been knocked over. You can you can go through that square now. And then it's Zing's turn. Sorry for that taking a while. I had I had to make sure because I was like, wait a minute, I seem to remember that you could do this. Why do I remember that? Where did you go? <laughs> did you run away? No, I put the boxes over there. <laughs> oh, you moved your character by accident. <laughs> no, he was moving the boxes with his. I don't think that's what he was doing. I hit him a lot. I I take my short sword and I shove it into his throat. Wow. Well, that's uh, with, not non-lethal. With, with non-lethal damage. You didn't right? say non-lethal. With non-lethal damage. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you can't shove something to someone's throat to be non-lethal. You just said with I mean, non-lethal. You can, but... No, I non-lethally sever his head from his head. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You see... He's a wizard, so you hit him. <laughs> cool. He has crap for AC. I do that many damage. Well, you did crap for damage against the wizard. Jeez. I have been rolling nothing but ones on my damage, like, all night, to be honest. And then I step on his foot. About the flaws. You successfully step on his foot. It really hurts. Oh, it hurts a lot more <laughs> than the sword did. Okay, is that the end of your turn? Uh, uh yeah. Okay, it's Rex's turn. Mr. Wizard. Oh, right. Uh, he's still completely useless, but you know, he'll just... He can do things, he just can't attack. Okay. Then he can't do anything in this case. Because he can't yeah. walk the way or... He can't be openly hostile at the guy, directly at him to do damage to him. It's like he can't bring himself to hurt him, but that's really the only thing he can't do. He can let you hurt him. He can't hurt him. If he has something that doesn't do damage, he can do that. He doesn't. That's it. For instance, on his turn a while ago when he did absolutely nothing, he could have cast light on the wizard. Then you guys could have seen him no matter what. 
true. Is that the end of Rex's turn? Yep. Blackjack. Oh, Blackjack raises his cross. Does this thing where he runs after the dude. One, two, three, four, five, um, six, and he shoots him with a crossbow bolt. Pew 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 pew. Um, let's see here. Uh, da 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 da. You hit. All right, now I go for some damage. A lot of damage. I hope so. We'll see. Um, I go for this much damage. You decent. Yeah, that's a fair amount of damage. Decent, decent. And that's the end of Blackjack's turn. Okay, it's Sildar's turn now. Sildar whips out his crossbow as well. One, two, three. He has a heavy crossbow. Five. He goes pew 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 pew. Um. Uh, he misses. Done. Turn done. Go. Lazarus. Lazarus is going to one, two, three, four, five, six, and he's going to try and charge and tackle the wizard to the ground again. Okay. Yeah. You don't get advantage or nothing. Do I get any bonus from charging? Not for a grapple. He has to beat that. I don't think it's actually possible for him to beat that. <laughs> it's not physically possible. No, I mean, he only gets a plus two to his roll, and if he rolled a 20, it'd be a 22. Lazarus got a 24 for a total. Wow, 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 wow. He is automatically grappled. Well, I also take him to the ground. Because that's, I was tackling him to the ground. No, you can't trip and grapple someone as one action. Tripping and grappling are two separate actions. Uh, can you not fall? He, you can fall volu- He can fall, but that won't necessarily pull the other guy to the ground. Okay. You can grapple somebody by grabbing their ankles. Yeah, I understand that. I just was checking. That's the end of my turn. I got him grappled again. Well, then it's Albrecht's turn. I, I'll, I'll let you I'm, one know. Oh, right I now. double move he, up from here. I'll let you know right now. He has one level two spell slot left. He's That's already used like five of them. That's okay. We'll figure something out. <laughs> We'll figure something out. He's gonna teleport again. Damn it. Yeah, I know. We have a monk. The monk can go with the speed of light. <laughs> Which is exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna teleport again. Yeah, but the monk can run faster than he can teleport. But he and the monk there. can also attack with stuff. But he also just teleported up. Yeah, it stairs. doesn't matter though. The the monk has like infinite awesome. He only has forty movements. He can <laughs> <laughs> and that guy gets to like move again. Yeah, but he can dash as a move or as a bonus action. The monk Not can dash. Anymore. Oh, really? He gets that twice. That's right. I can still run, move really, really fast. Like, to yeah. and I was asked that. That's the last. Well, anyway, if that was the last of his spell slots. Oh yeah, that was the last of his level two spell slots. So I mean, like, we're gonna catch him. There's just no chance. We're running outside and catching him. See, here's the plus. Thing. He has to climb up that one ladder. Remember? Oh, the ladder out here. Yeah, there's that ladder. Yeah, he has there. to climb up the ladder. This will this will be the square where the ladder is. He still has to climb up it, which is not going to yep. be easy. But he's going to open that door. Okay, let me. Uh... Go, monk. Go. You can do it. Pull, Pull him down. Seismic toss. Oh no! Just seismic toss. 
Just crush him. Zigzag. Ignore the line going through the area. Whose turn is next? He gets to the ladder. Okay. Whose turn is next? Uh, it is Zane's turn. My turn right now? Zane. Yes, it's Zane's turn. Okay, one, two, three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> yeah, you still get to him. Sup. And then it looks at you. And then um I use my bonus action to freaking kick him in the balls with a bicycle kick as he's trying to climb up the ladder. From behind. From behind, From yeah. Behind. <laughs> Go punch. You hit him. Oh, uh, he's actually not, not he's still on the ground right now. Bicycle ball kick. Not lethal ball kick. Okay, okay, he uh, he looks very much in pain. And okay. it is Rex's turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh man, I'm gonna be awesome for like a split second if I get a turn. 15, 16, and Wait a minute. How is he moving 16 squares? I don't know. Move. <laughs> you don't have my movement speed. <laughs> okay. Moves there. Hey, he, as, as he passes by, he yells to Tom Selleck, get ready to give me a boost! It's not right. his turn. He yells to Tom Selleck to get ready to give That's what he does. Tom Sulk looks confused and frightened at the same time. And gets ready to give him a boost? Doesn't have an action for that. Oh, he doesn't? No, he used no. to move it. Oh, to okay. Alright, well anyway, I don't care if you he's ready or not. For Lazarus. I don't care if he's ready or not. Here we go. Go, Blackjack. Uh, Blackjack drops his sword. It's time for action. Blackjack whips past the uh the cleric with a plan of action in mind and as he steps here he steps here with a one two oops oh, oh. yeah there we go he steps here with one two stepping first onto the ledge of the cistern and then stepping again up on the shoulder of the unknowing <laughs> the <laughs> So, so where do you um, expect to go with this? <laughs> I expect to go in the air with both hands on the crossbow, diving through the air, and shooting at the guy back here. Um, I'm trying to remember how high up that is. See, that is where are you stairs? <sighs> okay, that is fifteen this is fifteen feet up. Okay. So you'd have your head would have to be above ten would have to, that's that is three squares up. That means this the foot of this is three squares. Okay. And so also, you're... the head of him is one square above that. Are you shooting yes. for his head with a non-lethal shot? Yes, with a non-lethal shot. I'm sh I'm so... shooting at him with a non-lethal. I'm taking so... whatever I need to take, but I I'm doing a really cool move that I'm like, I could see my character doing last minute. He knows he's back there and he's taking a risk. I mean, what else can Blackjack do? He's got nothing. So he threw away his sword and he went hand crossbow. So I'm expecting is, nothing. There is a high jump, but I can't remember where it is.
page 182. Oh, not PDF page 182. You can leap a number of squares into the air, or a number of feet into the air equal to three plus your strength wow. modifier. Holy crap, that's amazing! Feet. Yeah, that's amazing! You that means can I can leap into the air 11 feet. Strength modifier. Oh, strength modifier. You can jump two feet in the air. No, I can jump at least five. Oh, yeah. You have a negative strength. Yeah, that's why I said, oh, yeah. That's what I said. There is a high jump, but I didn't know what you could do with it. It's three plus your strength modifier if you move ten feet. Either way, each foot you clear costs a foot. What? Can I make a strength athletics check to jump higher than I normally can? Yes. And I can extend my arms higher. I'm, that's I'm that's just, for like reaching. I'd like to use as much as I can. This is for all the gusto make, amazing make strength athletics in the world. Shazam! <laughs> that allows you to jump. That's a, that allows you to jump a total of six feet. Is that enough to at least like see and shoot the arrow? Like like I said, two feet off the cistern and then and then whatever else shoulder. And I'm trying to go for the, the shot. I'm going to roll a die. <laughs> you, like, Lazarus, uh, Albrecht, and Tom Selleck, uh, very knowingly, uh, in particular, sees him go up on off of his shoulder and leap for a shot. Can Tom Selleck use his last luck point on this? <laughs> Jeez. Yes. yes, please let him use the luck point. Please let him use the luck point. Yes, he can, certainly. All right, here we go. Can I shoot? What is, what it, it, what is the, exactly the luck point do? Tell tell Mike what it does. Uh, you get to... You basically have advantage. Except oh, not basically. actual advantage. Yeah, it's roll again and you can choose which the one you want. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, well, I'll just take whatever one's higher then, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, so... 2d20. It's either going to be epic or it's going to be cool you just, you just and roll, you just roll one. one. Plus You've already rolled one. You just get to re-roll the one you've already rolled. Oh, I thought the one I rolled was just for... Well, that was your athletics check. Yeah, so that his just wasn't point, enough. His luck... I never said that. He wanted to use his luck point before I said anything because that's when he has to use it. Oh, well, okay. I'll just roll that again, I guess. And you Why, used more meant for like the... He can use it whenever, really. Uh, he can't. I don't believe you can know what the uh, result is. I yeah, I can't. So it'll be the shot then, I guess. No, but you don't know the result. You don't know whether he succeeded or not, and that's what you can't know. Yeah. So you can. Well, do you already said is. the result of it, which means I can't. I never use luck on it. Okay. Well, well, the so basically, where we're at right now is. I don't know when you're going to use it, but I go up and I'm aiming for the shot. Are you using the luck point on his jump? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. You do make enough to fire your shot. I fire a shot. I'm going to use the luck point as much as I can. You guys. He heaves as you see him leap through the air and aim for the shot. Hard. Uh. Plus this. Yeah! yeah! Mike. Sorry, You're Mike. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's much more quiet. You're gonna need to rewatch this broadcast and hear exactly how much it's hurting us to listen yeah, to. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, well, you see, your total was a 23. <laughs> so, uh, yes, yes, you hit him. Non lethally! And that is, that is enough to knock him down. Roll for damage!
He is unconscious. What? You did roll for damage. No, roll for my damage. I'm falling 10 feet. Oh. You can tumble, you know. I'm not trained in acrobatics. You take three damage. You could also just fall in the water. Well, I'm jumping. going with forward, forward, uh, motion, forward motion. I'm totally cool with taking whatever damage because that was awesome. And I land on my belt. Oh. Because of that, I'm going to tell you something. Because of that awesome move. That's not oh, man. Place. That was amazing. Because of that awesome move, I'm telling you something. <laughs> there is, as, as you were jumping, you looked at your feet right before you jumped, <laughs> and you saw something was sitting in the cistern. Okay. I land. What's next? I have to roll a die. That's what happens. This is a... Uh, what's his name's turn? This will be a 1d3. What's his name? Um, the Sildar. I have a question for you, Mike. How did you land? I just kind of land like... You wouldn't land on your feet, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I landed basically no, on my belly slash side, like nothing mattered. You like nothing mattered. Okay. Slash side. Then it's a 1d2. Like, uh, uh, And you maybe I rolled... You, you felt something go crunch. <laughs> oh no, your hip. Yes, it's his hip because he is elderly, of course. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. You also feel something running down your side. I'm looking. What What do I see? A uh, rather smelly liquid. That's totally lame. Totally lame. Yes, totally lame. Hey, at least it isn't, like, the glass didn't pierce skin. It's made out of metal, probably... so it just kind of crunched. Uh... Made out of metal? Yeah, it was a flask. It was a metal flask, is what it was made of. You know exactly what happened. If you hurry, you might be able to salvage some of it. Yeah. I just don't know about turns and stuff inside of combat, so I would like we to not attempt... In, we are not in combat anymore. I would like to attempt to salvage whatever I can. I don't know what I need to do, but I would like to salvage whatever I can. Well, you, you, you need to have a container of some kind. And you yeah, to... I've got a couple containers on me. Uh, what kind of containers are those? <sighs> I Out of character, I have to think of for a minute what he would do. How much is a, a healing potion worth? Healing potion, oh, I almost said 50 gold, because that's what it, it's not 50 gold. Um, I think it's 25. Just look at the stuff. I don't even know how much it heals for. One potion of healing, oh, it is 50 gold. Wow, it's still 50 gold. That's no, perfect. yeah, yeah, okay, okay. You'd probably there goes, pour out a healing potion. There goes, there goes the water skin and Oh yeah, you'd empty out a water skin on an instant. In the cistern. In the cistern. If it's not already empty. Nah, let's say it was mostly empty. I mean, you guys have been around a while. I would like to salvage whatever I can. Okay, roll a D100. A D100? A D100. Is there any sort of additional check uh, or uh, additions considering my knowledge of all the skills. Let me see here. Um, you get a two. You plus two. I've got plus three to medicine. Got, um, well, I was gonna also say, let me. I gotta see what my proficiencies are. Proficient D plus two. Um, let me look at my my character list. I know I have a little drop. He just can't. That's yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's. That's funny. I I am proficient in poisoner's kits. 
I don't know if that helps, but anyway, so I get uh, I slash gr one d this plus what five plus five. Okay, here you go. All right, you actually managed to save five doses. Okay, you guys, you guys. I guess Tom Solo can like, and sees me like basically. I threw out the the crossbow to the side of the ground, and I'm scrambling. You uh, you okay there? Yeah, just a minute. Did you? Good lord, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, you'll be fine. I'll... Okay. Um, are we? Like, it's getting late. I'm tired. Well, yeah, we're probably almost... done. Almost. I want to see what's in the cistern. Okay, uh, in the cistern, right next to you, you, there's a little bag. I grab the bag and I open the bag. It is 100% sit. there normally. I grab the bag and sit and lean against the edge of the cistern while looking into this bag. What is it? What do I see in the bag? They put things in three different places. Okay, it is a little satchel, and there is a potion of healing, a potion of invisibility, 50 gold, and a set of clothes. And a set of clothes? set of regular clothes. You didn't really come out behind money-wise. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. I came out behind in the amount of poison that I have. You got a new set of clothes. You got a potion of invisibility. That guy has a potion of invisibility. He's holding it in his hand. Well, he's holding something in his hand right now. I'm going to walk up to um, Zang and see it, what he found on the guy. Uh, let's see. He is carrying his staff. He is carrying. Let me let me actually look at the what it says he's carrying. I know he's carrying his staff. Let's see. Treasure section. Okay, he actually grabbed. It actually says he grabs all of his treasure and tries to leave. So he has all of his treasure on him. Um, wow. There is a bag full of money, and it has some gems in it. Are any of them sapphires? Uh, no, but there is a 100 GP pearl in there. I ask everybody, do you mind if... No. Nope. I now have a pearl. And there's also a scroll of charm person and a scroll of fireball. He didn't get to use the scroll of fireball. Uh, also, the... his, his, his staff. His staff is not a normal staff. Okay, so for the time being, until tomorrow, on my sheet, if nobody else has any, uh... what kind of staff is? Uh, well, I'll just tell you guys, cause you'll figure it out. It's a staff of defense. Really good for a wizard. Can I have? It? Are you a wizard? Sure. It's up to care. you guys to decide who gets what. I don't do I, I don't need to be a, a wizard to make use out of a plus one staff. The staff, yeah. I don't care. It's fine. Where it's, where are the two scrolls? I'll uh, down at it least. is a scroll of charm person, which is the charm thing person. cast on uh, okay. Tom there. Charm and a scroll person. of fireball, which is well, fireball. And how much money and stuff does he have? Okay, it's a hundred and eighty silver, a hundred and thirty gold. And a silk pouch containing five carnelians, which is a gem. They're worth ten each. Just a sec, uh, just a sec. Pouch. I don't want the silk pouch, but the five carnelians? Carnelians, yeah. Car if you want, I can just write down the gold and stuff, because I have gold I have to divvy out anyways. I uh, know, I'll just divvy, we'll just divvy this out right now. Okay, two peridot, so, two peridots worth fifteen gold each. Two... 15 the, gold and the other one. The And the last one's the pearl, which you already claimed. And the pearl. Yeah, I won't even give anybody um, the pearl, but what I'll do is I'll, give, I'll split out the other stuff. 
I'll give one of the paragraphs to uh, Tom Selleck. I'll give another one to the monk. And then the five rest of them, I'll, uh, wait. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'll give two of them. I'll give the, uh, okay, I'm giving the monk one peridot worth 15 gold. I'm giving the monk also one carnelian worth 10 gold. And then I'm giving the, uh, and I'm basically telling him it's for catching the dude. And then I give, um, uh, Lazarus and Sildar and, uh, oh shit, screw that. Yeah, I give Lazarus, Sildar, okay, okay, yeah, that should be okay. I give Lazarus, Sildar, oh, Sildar and... says he doesn't want any of the stuff. Oh, okay. And in which case, I give each, um, Lazarus and Albrecht two carnelians each of them are worth 10 gold so i give you each two of them hey that should be all of them hey chris yeah is this technically a quarter staff uh let me ooh well, let me look in appendix a because if it is a quarter staff it's a really freaking good weapon for me and then also i will give um each of the characters that are not Sildar, I'll give them each um, 30 gold. And then I have 10 gold from that. So all player characters get 30 gold. And then all player characters other than me also get um, uh, 40 silver. And that gives me 20 silver. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Yes, it is. But it, else? I don't think it is under standard circumstances, but I'm going to say yes, it is because it makes sense. Okay. So what does a defensive staff do? Okay, here's... Well, actually, his staff is a little special. I'll ask Sildar if this is the guy... This is his staff. I'm asking the guy if this is the guy. Oh, so yes. Far. Yes, he said, yes, this is the Yarno Albrecht. And yes, I'm going to take him back to Neverwinter to be tried for all sorts of crimes. Um, do we he's get going to be leaving immediately after he gets out of here. Holy jeez. What was that? Do we get a reward? Uh, oh, yeah, let me, I don't know if you want to immediately let me. Um, and then all of the non-players also get oh. an additional, get an additional 10 gold from. Ross, that last, that entire last half doesn't work for you. That that's, sucks. that's fine, I don't care. Um, yeah, the big, awesome. the big thing with it for me is, it's a plus one staff, right? Yes, it, yeah. is, a, it is a plus and one And it, it gives you plus one AC also. Yes. I'm just not going to use the charges ever, because I don't want it to, I don't want it to break. Well, you can't. It, you don't need, it doesn't need to you break. Can't, it you, just, you can't use any of those spells. It's slender and hollow and glass, yet it is strong as oak. Uh, the thing is, if all the ex charges are expended, there is a, there's a, there's a 5% chance it will be destroyed the at the beginning of the next day. Uh oh. So, I'm never going to use the charges. And I'll have a plus one staff that gives me plus one to AC, which is freaking awesome. That's all I could ever want. Yeah. You just hold on to the staff and kick things. Well, I mean, I'm going to use it as a weapon, dude. It's... I know. I'm just saying... Quarterstaffs are, are versatile 1d8 for me. Oh, they're versatile? Yeah, so oh, I, right. I'm, I'm going awesome. to use this thing with... I'm going to use this thing with uh, with both, both hands. hands. And... Yeah, I'm, all sorts of AC. I'm going up from doing 1d6 plus 2 to doing 1d8 plus... 1d10. 3. 
That's insane. That's such that's a huge insane. damage boost for me. Plus you get a bonus to your AC. And a bonus to attack if it's magic weapons the same way it worked in 4th edition. Well, quarter staff is 1d6. Oh, it's versatile 1d8, yeah. That's right. So, yeah, if I, if I use it with both hands, I can be a freaking boss with it. The sad thing is... Well, actually, you could, at, you could just ask, like, anyone with major armor to wield the staff and then cast it on you. And then hand yeah. the staff back. Yeah, you could do that, but none of the characters in the long run, outside of whatever, none of the characters are going to have that. Well, I mean, does, but Rex is going to long run. vacate the party after this adventure. Yeah. Anyway, but, though, but Major Armor lasts for eight hours. Yes, it does. All right, I'm good. I got a new weapon that makes me feel happy. So, what's the experience that we get for all of this? A whole lot. Um. It, me, our ex oh, yeah. our experience totals seem irrelevant because it seems like you just give us levels. No, I'm uh, actually giving. That was just from experience. that one time, basically. Oh, I haven't been paying attention <laughs> to the experience that we've been getting. So no, you, that's because we haven't gotten any since. We yeah, we pretty much got some, and then we got some, and then leveled, and now we're getting some. This can't be. <laughs> Right, best right. best thing ever to hear. I'm giving you experience. That can't be right. Yeah, I think <laughs> I might have calculated. Shit, if if um if I have the glass staff now, does that mean that everyone's gonna start calling me glass staff? Because yeah, it, like the same because because the name uh, trades from person to person. The <laughs> the holder before uh, the person currently that had it was also called glass staff. No, no, it's all. It was always the same person. That's why I asked Sildar. He was known as Glass Staff due to the staff, but that doesn't say anything about the guy before him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I did make it sound as a possible second person. There was only ever one person the whole time. Uh, oh. I don't know if you guys are gonna get to level three from this because I can't remember how much experience. No, that's fine. Nine hundred. Now, how much experience do you have? We don't have 375. Three. Oh, I thought oh it's going to be close. It'll be, it'll be close. You know how much XP is needed for level 3? 900. Yeah. You guys, from everything you did today, let me make sure there's nothing I missed. Because you killed them, you all, you, you, you've uh, successfully navigated the trap. You rescued the prisoners. They both they both survived. You captured all three of them. Survived. Well, you, it's we did either, all it, the side quests. We did all the yeah, side you did quests. Did all the little things. You got all the extra experience you could, and everybody gets four hundred and fifty experience. Okay, not quite. So it's not quite, but it's close. That's fine. I'm totally excited. I was glad that my thing worked. Well, we out. might get like, some extra experience from talking to that one lady and saying that he's gone. You haven't done that yet. Yeah, we're gonna hold off on that. But uh, um, let's see here. I did all that. I did all. I'm so excited that my. So you guys are like a third done with this adventure now, maybe. Um, there's still plenty more to go. I feel like there's something else that. I... Um. Hmm. The reason I was saying this can't be right because I thought one uh, encounter was worth a lot more than it was. I thought these skeleton encounters were worth more than that. You see, those skeletons are only worth 50 experience. <laughs> Little crappy skeletons. I'm going to have to invest in some indestructible. The three bugbears and the goblin are worth 600 experience. What? Oh, divided amongst the people. Well, yeah, it's all divided. That's, that's total, not to, not to each person. That's why I was confused at first. No, no, no. Um, if it was one of you against a bugbear, you'd die. Almost definitely. Okay, well, I gotta go. We can pick up. Yeah, it's really late. Okay. <laughs> I'm really tired. It was tired. fun. Good night, everybody. 
Good night. Good night. At least you had Good to night. try to, to, to capture the guy.